plasma makes up around 99% of the observable universe, such as stars and lightning. Scientists have been able to generate thermal plasma for years at high temperatures for use in a range of industrial applications, including sterilizing surgical instruments. But recent advances in science now mean plasma can be created at room or body temperature, enabling it to be used in many more applications. Coal plasma has antimicrobial properties that can destroy harmful pathogens and bacteria that are resistant to antibiotics. There are many potential applications for agri-food. As cold plasma is effective at tissue temperature, it could be used to treat chronic bacterial infections in livestock. This would reduce the reliance on antibiotics. It could also help with farm biosecurity, offering an alternative to disinfectants and for decontaminating air in livestock sheds. Harmful bacteria and pathogens in food could be destroyed with a simple cold plasma tool during processing. This would avoid food having to be treated to high temperatures and help increase shelf life. Importantly, cold plasmas leave no chemical residues behind, as antibiotics and conventional biocide treatments do, making them a safer treatment in food production. Could cold plasma be the future of pathogen control? Certainly, research is providing the evidence to support this theory and the Institute for Global Food Security at Queen's University Belfast has world-leading expertise in this field. The coal plasma market is estimated to be worth £39.3 billion by 2026, driven primarily by applications within the agri-food sector. £450,000 has been invested by CL through Innovate UK funding and Queen's University Belfast to help create AgriPlas. The centre will enable cutting-edge research in novel methods to reduce animal disease, antibiotic use, food contamination and waste. AgriPlas will include a pilot cold plasma facility for industrial evaluation of this pioneering technology.